The creek runs more than 30 miles before it gets here. A hundred years ago, under the shade of these big cottonwoods, maybe not these exact cottonwoods, but the ones that grew here then, someone stood here and thought, wouldn't this be a great place for a swimming hole? We don't know all the reasons why they built the dam, but for a while, people did swim here. You can see old pictures at the museum. Time passed. Things changed. That little dam, though, stayed right in its place. Here's the thing. When those folks built it, they didn't know that a creek only works when it flows freely. The little dam stopped so much more than water. It kept almost all the fish from getting to the cooler places upstream. Steelhead, lamprey, and young salmon couldn't reach their spawning grounds higher up on the creek. At the same time, the dam kept rocks and branches from flowing downstream, so fewer gravel bars and wood tangles formed. Not enough stuff was left to help the creek spread out. Instead, in big storms, it started to flow faster and straighter. Its banks got steeper. That made the current run harder, which tugged more plants away until eventually there was hardly anywhere for anything to live. Fish counts got smaller and smaller, and with fewer fish, there was less bird life here too. People saw what was happening though, and they spent years making plans. When the land came up for sale, local partners were ready to buy it. Everyone got talking, the people who lived here, local businesses, and then more partners joined them. More people who cared about the creek. Was the dam doing more harm than good? How much more good would come from taking it out? The partners drew up plans, and they made it happen. The dam came down, and 30 miles of habitat opened up for those fish. It took a lot of people. And it took time, but together we did it.